I, you know, I think that one of the biggest things that people have uh, misconceived about branding is I have to have like the right name. I have to have the perfect logo. But the brand is about execution. Right. The brand is about this is what we're about. This is how we do it. And more than anything else, we actually do it and we do it well. Because right. you could have all the fancy logo and name you want, but if you're not providing the service, you're still just as unimportant to the community as anybody else. Right. So. And, and, it, and you may be a very pretty unimportant <laughs> brand right. entity, but you're not getting results. So that was about two, oh, three years ago. Right. About three we was two was, two years. Ago. It was released uh, at our luncheon in, in April 2016 when mm-hmm. you, you came and presented to um, our funders mm-hmm. and to our board and to our constituents uh, the reveal of the, the name change. Uh, so that was that was April of 2016. Yeah, where that happened, and you know, even past there, putting up the new sign um, and letting that be a community event where people saw the new sign going up with the new logo and the new name. Um, was bringing a lot of attention. Um, but let's look at this timeline. So in April of 2016, we revealed the new name and the brand. And then in January of 2017, we were the first uh, community-based organization to receive a $2.1 million grant from the State Department of Health. Wow. That was the largest grant they had given to a community-based organization that wasn't a hospital. And uh, subsequently, we performed so well at that, using those dollars, they awarded us another $1.8 million to serve eight additional counties of the state. So when, when you first got involved in, in helping us execute our brand, we were a one-county serving organization, and then two years later, we're in 12 counties. Wow. And, and I'm not satisfied. Now I'm upset we're just in one state. I want to be in two states. Yeah. Two states. So that's, that's called, ladies and gentlemen, that's called brand excellence. <laughs> 